So that one doesn't hurt when you pull on it. And what that one you does. Your so bone you. This bone tends to go to this That's side right. with the toe, like this, okay? And this big bump here on the side, right? Yeah. The first thing we do when we dissect everything and we get down to the bone, the first thing we do is we cut the bone with a saw boom, from the front. And that's a little piece of bone that you don't use. Okay, that's, you throw it away. That's the actual bone that you remember you used to have. That little bit. That also contributes. We got that. Now, incidental finding when I do your case. I cut the bone, and I see that the head of your metatarsal, this head, has a huge cyst. What is a cyst in a bone? And the skin, to have a cyst is to have a little, you know, little bump, bump or something. Yeah. In a bone, to have a cyst is not to have a bump. It's to have a, an empty hollow. space, yeah. something hollow on that bone. You know, it's an empty space. Is it bad? Pathological? Is that? No, no, not at all. You know, the bone is really soft and mushy, but not big deal. Okay? So I find that little cyst. Not little. Prominent size. And I'm going to show you because when I get back, I told you that they. Because it was on the x-rays. The x -rays, they look similar in both, but why on the right was softer than the left? No one can tell me. There's no way to find out. I looked at the edges that I'm going to show you so you can see what a cyst is. Is there? Now, every time we do surgery and we find a cyst on the metatarsal head, which is this part, the regular procedure that we do for bonions, which is, I explained to you, we cut the bone like a V, like this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we move it and we put the two little screws. If you see a cyst here, right where my cut is going to be, usually what we do is we don't do that procedure. We move back on the bone, and then we cut somewhere else. Do the same thing, but more proximal. That's what we call it, somewhere else in the bone. Here's a problem with that. You might say, oh, is that what you did to me? Mm -hmm. I couldn't. And right away, my light went like, God, I can't do this. Why? I'm doing both of them at the same time. If I do that, and I go proximal, and I do that cut, it's a non way bearing osteotomy for six weeks. Oh. And I can keep you non way bearing on this foot, having an osteotomy on the other side. Okay. That was a big dilemma, intra-op. I got two residents with him, my two senior residents were helping me with the case. Guys, honey, uh, what? We gotta go for it? We gotta go for the head procedure. We we head, the, regular the regular procedure. We did our cut, really unstable. When you move the, the head to the inside to close the angle between both of them, you impact the head. And then you put the two screws and the left over on the inside that you shave down, okay? When we moved the head, we impacted it, it got impacted, but it was so soft inside the head that I got a shortening of maybe four millimeters when I impacted the head. That's known as a tool. It's too short. It's too short. You will transfer the, the weight to the other metatarsals and give you stress fractures metatarsalgia, a bunch of things. So what I have to do is play with this head to try to find within normal limits a hard spot where I can impact my head without shortening. And still put the screws. And Yeah, I still put the screw. I did the same procedure, I put the screw. What was the final result finding that spot? That foot, and I'm going to show you pre and post, and I'm going to show you pre and post on this one. Okay. In that foot, you'll see that the joint is perfectly congruous like this. After we moved it and we did everything, the toe looks exactly like this. On this foot, which is exactly the same as here, when we close the angle, the fragment, the most stable position, was a little bit rotated to the inside. And then your phalanx is something like this. Like that. Do I believe it's going to be a major problem or something? No. If you ask me percentages, I would expect that on a 90% to 95% rate that this is not going to give you any trouble, but it might. Okay. Uh, and if you are done, what is it that we have to do another one? First, ah, you might ask yourself, oh, what did you do with the this? Little the little bone that we took. Mm -hmm. From here, the, the bone, the bone that you take, we put on the table and we cut in little pieces and we cut. You shield it. Yeah. He shield it. Yeah, you don't, you don't throw it away. You keep it there because you, you don't know what you might be able to use it for. So that little bonium 
you cut it with a wrong drawer as an instrument that we have, and you pack the defect with that, and then you shave it down, you make it look pretty. That's and you a put good it idea. Again, and you put it back there. But it is like a fracture that has to heal. Yeah. If this, for any reason, for any reason, in the future, again, after bone and surgery, it is, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect food. It's a better food, but it's not perfect. This is a perfect result, 100%. Yeah, that was and phenomenal. you might get, with time, some stiffness. Nah, it's a little bit stiff. These are things that are unpredictable, okay, and they're part of bone and surgery. A little bit of a stiffness, maybe, okay? It could happen, okay? There's a higher percentage that that is going to happen here. We'll refer to that one. This you know is what I'm saying? Because it's not years. like this. Yeah. It's a little bit like this. Yeah. This one I can feel. This one I can't. When, when you pull, I, I'm sure you're going to feel it again. Anything. That but this one over, and the only thing I felt twinges in, in 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 any of them has been right here in that one. Never in that one. So oh, yeah. but once again, if you ask me, but that is the one that would work. This is things are going to happen or not. Oh, and your next question will be, what if it happens? If it happens, unfortunately, I might have to go back there and make that straight. And you might say, let's do it next week. I can't because I'm going to run into the same situation. Your cyst is there, it's not healed. I gotta wait at least. If this is gonna happen, it's gonna have to be four or five months from today. Mm -hmm. I would be able to tell by the wind. No. Yeah, awesome. definitely you're gonna be able to tell. So and by I that time, I'll be walking, really I am around. the temple, you know, I, my business, you know, I tell the people the good things, but I also yeah. tell them the, the not because no, nothing definitely. is perfect. I, I'm a professional. You know? That's no more thing. I'm a professional. Me, me too. Uh, <laughs> so that, that's why I understand I'm what you're saying. I'm a professional. You're saying. And I'm not talking. I'm going to bring pictures before and after so you guys can see everything. And in fact, because I mean, just because. I was, I was kind of disappointed with one of my guys that I respect a lot because he does a lot of surgeries. And his answer was two people. My boss, and he's been practicing for 30 years. And he's been, he has trained. I would say 80% of the podiatrists in Miami have been under Jason Hand. Oh, yes, I've heard so much about yeah. him. Yeah, and I work with him. He got me this job. You know, as soon as I started, he's always going to work with me. He's so the one that everybody talks about. I asked him, this is what it is. Oh, I would have done the same thing as you did, but that's not the bottom line. The bottom line is, do you ever think all your bonions were going to be perfect? Get that average money. Not, not the answer I was looking for, but no. okay. and then the other guy that I really, really respect a lot, that I always go to him every time I have a question or something, really disappointed with him. Don't say anything. I'll wait and see what happens. No, no, no. This is good. First of all, you're not God. You know, I mean, she had a sis over here. Wait, but let me tell you something.